Hi, Dr. Allen Feller here. I want to start showing you some of the tools of the trade, so to speak. Uh, one you're going to use quite often for the test is what they call the navigational plotter. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Doesn't that sound more sophisticated? But it really just comes down to a piece of plastic with a bunch of scales on it. Now I'm going to show you which scales you use. But, first of all, you're going to use it as a straight edge. That's probably one of its greatest strengths, is you just use it as a straight edge to draw lines between airports. The second thing is you want to measure the nautical mileage between airports. And the way you do it is you use this nautical mile scale on the bottom here. Now, unfortunately, there are two nautical mile scales on this ruler. On the back side, you have this rather busy-looking scale with a lot of tick marks. And on the front side of the ruler, you have this same, you have also a nautical mile scale, but it doesn't look as busy, there's fewer tick marks. And the reason for that is the side we're going to use, which is this side, is used for sectionals, for sectional charts. All the tests, all the charts in the test use sectional charts. So you're going to always use this scale, this less busy scale. The other side is for world aeronautical charts or WAC charts. I didn't see any WAC charts on the um, test. So you can just ignore this side. Do not use it. Remember, if it's busy, you're on the wrong side. You want the less busy side like that. Okay. The third thing you're going to use is the compass. All right? We called it a protractor when we were in school. It's the same thing. It measures the degrees of a circle. In terms of aviation, when you're looking at a compass, usually north is at the top, right, as the top, and then to your right, that would be east, and to your left, that would be west. And if this continued all the way down to the bottom, this would be 180 degrees down here, and that would be the south. As it is, they give you half, and it's good enough. So what you'll remember uh, during when you're taking a test is ignore ignore the uh, scales here just ignore the scales they become very confusing just remember that when your plotter is uh, sitting in an in a east to west fashion along the chart that this dark line this middle line is zero just remember that zero and when you go to the right that's 10 degrees that's 20 degrees that's 30 degrees 40 degrees 50 degrees 60 70 80 90 so that would be east wouldn't it uh, if you go the other way around, you can go all the way down to 270 degrees, which would be, what, west. So just remember, each tick mark represents one degree. Each large tick mark, this long tick mark, represents 10 degrees. Each short tick mark here represents 5 degrees. So you can count out 180 degrees this way or 180 degrees this way. And that's all you need to know for your plotter. That's it.